All right, y'all, our next guest is an actress, uh, wife, and mom who received a peach, ladies and gentlemen, at the end of last year when she joined season 13 of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all, please give it up and welcome one of Shy towns own, Drew Sedora. Good Drew. Good morning, y'all. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Drew, thank you so much for coming on. I'm so excited. Now, of course, Eva and Gary are... Are, are the Real Housewives of Atlanta experts on this show? Uh, but but what is your big? You know, and first of all, welcome to the show. Thank you for jumping on and waking up this early to talk to us. My my question is, what is your biggest lesson learned from your first season on Real Housewives, and uh, what would you you know uh, like to re- like to do in return of next season? <laughs> so many things. Uh, yeah. Man, well, first of all, you got to get a stylist. I mean, you got to have a good wig to lay down on your head because mm. that, that part, that's what I learned. Um, I came in, it was COVID, you know, so it was very different for me. I really came in with the intention to um, make friends, you know, and I learned that that's not going to always happen either. So, it was it was it was different than obviously what I'm used to. Um, you know, doing different movie roles, acting roles. It's like, you know, this was really an opportunity for people to get to know me as a person. I'm I'm going through so much, and I just felt like, why not be vulnerable? You know, 2020 was a crazy year, but yeah. um, all in all, I mean, and my sis Eva, she was supposed to be with me. <laughs> I know. I, I I'm actually I brought Drew on the show a couple years ago. Yeah. He yes. But well, Drew's. Gary, what do you have to say about uh, uh, Miss Drew? Because you've had a lot of opinions, sir. Now, Drew, okay, Uh-oh. now, one of the things that hurt me, honey, now, Kenny made you cry on the reunion show. That really hurt my spirit. But one of the things that really touched me also was the wig. Now, when you presented the wig to them at, the, at that $1,000 um, event y'all had, the gift exchange, now, the wig looked a little bit dehydrated, but why were they... <laughs> <laughs> that is not dehydrated. No, he called it dry. dehydrated this morning. Oh my god! Listen, that, you, so tell me something. Can I ask y'all something? Because like, yeah. if I've always played white elephant, right, with my family at Christmas or whatever, there is always a gag gift at a white elephant game. There's always a gag gift. I was so surprised that the ladies were riding me so hard about it. I just was trying really? to put it on the. Yeah, like, it was supposed to be fun, funny, and really, like, let's talk about it because the wig was talked about behind my back. So I felt like let's put it on the table and let's talk about it in a So was that an old wig or a new wig? It was not an old wig. I had the receipt from the wig maker. It was brand new bundles, but it was like that texture here, Eva. You know, it was the good, you know, the African-American Brazilian texture hair. Yeah. like how our hair is. So that's what it was. <laughs> well, I'm not mad at it at all. However, you and my girl Kenya have had y'all set of disagreements on the show. So do you think it's fair that she talked about your children? And why did Kenya make you cry at the reunion? That just aired this Sunday. Why were you crying? Right. Now that the I don't often come to tears, but when you talk about my son or make any reference in a negative um, light about my children, that really triggered me. So when she retweeted that tweet about my son being cringy, it was so hurtful to me that I just felt like out of everything, I felt like it was below the belt. And I thought children were off topic. You know, we're never supposed to bring up children, especially in a negative way. And I would never do that to Brooklyn. So I was disappointed in her for the woman she is, the platform she sits on to be so irresponsible. And so, yeah, that that hurt me. That's why I was in tears because, you know, I just feel like as women, we have to do better, especially as examples with our platform about what we retweet. And honestly, I was shocked, Eva, like she apologized. So I felt like that was a moment that um, it opened the door to maybe some type of reconciliation. I don't know, but I just feel like for me, we can key, we can go below the belt, throw our shade, but when it comes to our children, we have to keep that off the table. Leave the babies alone. Right. Leave the babies alone. Oh, my God, man. And and that's why I I have a hard time because my nerves get bad. You know, I'm one of those, like, I want everything to work out. I want everybody to get along, but 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 it's not like I want the people on my six hundred pounds to lose weight, and sometimes they they, they don't. Sometimes they just explode. Um, 
Ricky. I'm so sorry. Drew, we want to know about your acting because right. you have been an amazing actress for years. I first met you on The Game in like 2005 when we did that show together. So people want to know, are you still acting while you're doing Housewives? Do you have any projects in the works? I do, I do. You know, I took time off because I, I, I ruptured my Achilles, y'all. So I had like three surgeries on my Achilles. So I have been down. But this whole season, this was about me really getting back to me and obviously losing weight. I'll put it on the table. I, you know, get my weight back, my health back. But you I did. Good, I just girl. booked a new. Yeah, sometimes you got to just take a little break. Get yourself together. and um, But I did. I just signed on to do a Lifetime movie that I'm super, super excited about. So your girl's getting back to her acting bag. For anybody that may have doubted me, I am, I'm definitely super excited and humbled and blessed because that's my number one passion. So um, I'm ready to get back on set. And, and just, yes, thank you. Hey, we are, we are so excited for you, and uh, and thank you so much for joining. Hey, hey, you know you got to come back on, right? Don't be a stranger. You're always welcome uh, to come and let us know what's going on. Especially when we back in the studio. I like to, you know, definitely come yes. back for sure. Yes, yes, sir. Yeah, we excited about that. Let everybody know how they can follow you on social media. You please hit me up at Drew Sedora, um, A. Uh, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Please follow me. Keep up to date with your girl. I appreciate y'all so much. Okay. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, uh, y'all give it up and show your love for the one and only. Oh, damn. I just pulled up your picture. You fine. Oh. As hey, hell, you? Rick. You have no idea. Drew don't play. Damn, Drew. She look Drew. good. Drew. When she don't look good, she look good. <laughs> Drew. What is on? Drew. Drew. <laughs> Drew, 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 Drew. Oh, wow. Y'all. Hey, look, no, don't hang up. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to talk to you for a minute. Hey, y'all, y'all give it up. You are crazy. Give it up for Drew Sedora. Oh, 